let's talk about exceptions and trying to catch them. All right, we found us back in Jelly once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about exceptions and try and catch statements. Now, this is a little bit of a, let's say, weirder tutorial in the sense that uh, it's very hard to actually make a good enough introduction to this. So in general, as a high level overview, right? What is an exception? Well, an exception gets thrown when a certain piece of code doesn't work. This, for example, happens, right? If I were to say int x is equal to 100 divided by zero, right? If I were to do something like this, right? And I then run this, what you will see is this is called a exception in the thread main, right? Java lang arithmetic exception is being thrown. And what is happening is that we're trying to divide by zero and it shows up where this happens. This is what's called a stack trace. And usually a, an exception is thrown directly here inside of the main method. But what actually usually happens is that an exception is thrown somewhere deep, deep in your code. So you get like multiple lines and lines and lines of code, which, you know, because one line of code calls another line of code, calls another line of code and so on and so forth until the exception is sort of found. And uh, what you could do, right, if the, you know that there might be an exception somewhere happening, you can do a try statement over here, right? A try and then curly brackets inside of this try statement, you put whatever code you're like, oh, this might throw an exception. And then you have in the after the closing curly bracket, a catch statement, right? Which is going to catch that exception. And that exception could be any type of exception. So you use the exception class over here, call it E, let's say. And what happens then is that instead of the program crashing, because if we were to, you know, just for the sake of argument over here, put this back right here, right? And I were to, let's say, system out print line, I am happy, right? I just print something out over here, let's see. This is not being printed out because we are crashing, right? The exception is actually a crash. Now, usually, and this is another important lesson, so there's all sorts of different ways to approach this. Usually, you do want to crash loudly because if there is like a big error in your code, you don't want it, want it to be like, you know, hidden somewhere in like a log file that you never read. You want it to be as loud as possible because if that it has like some severe consequences, you don't want those to be, you know, a thing. However, you can surround a piece of code that might throw an exception over here in this try statement. And you can then catch this and you can say, you know, for example, inside of this here, oh, caught exception. And then you can say E dot, for example, get the message of this, but it's not going to crash. So I'm going to do this and you can see I caught the exception divided by zero, but I am I am happy over here because, well, it did not crash, right? We tried this. It's sort of like, oh, yeah, we're going to try if we can do this. And then they're like, no, 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 this would throw an exception, but we didn't actually execute this. So we're actually good to go. I caught the exception right here, right? I have like the baseball glove. I caught the exception and I'm outputting it normally over here. And I'm continuing with the program as previously intended. And that's one thing that you can do. You can also make your custom exceptions. But really, this is a very rare instance where this is absolutely necessary. Now, you might want to, but in my experience, especially when it comes to making Minecraft mods, there really is a very few cases where you even want to throw an exception. You might want to. That is totally fine. However, I don't really see this very often. Now, to throw an exception, exception, right? Let's say, for example, let's say, for example, I'm actually getting the integer out of here, right? So I have x right here, and then I have x right here. And let's say if x is, let's equal x like 10 over here. And then if x is bigger than 100, let's say, right, then I want to throw, you can see throw is a keyword, a new, and then you see there's different types of exceptions, right? Let's say just a general exception, I say, um, just throwing for fun. Right now, what you'll see is that usually what happens if you throw an exception, it all gets red underlined. The reason is that you actually have to add the exception to the method signature, right? So if I were to add this, you can see now that it says, hey, this method, if you call this, this might throw an exception, right? It is possible that this method throws an exception. And you basically always want to know this because if you know this, then you can purposefully put this into a try statement over here to basically not have the exception thrown so your entire program doesn't crash. Because usually, you know, a crash program is not a great idea. Having the exception caught, even if the program then can continue, that's totally fine as long as you then log it and you have it somewhere, right? That, that usually happens automatically in bigger programs 
so you should be good to go. But that is the general idea of exceptions and trying to catch them. At first, I thought we're going to make a custom exception, but I've got to be honest, I don't think that it makes any sense whatsoever. I think if you've seen the try and catch over here and you can see how a exception is thrown, I'm pretty sure that that's basically all you're going to need. And what we'll do is we'll just do it like this. We're actually going to reverse it. We're going to have our custom exception thrown over here. You can see just throwing for fun. Awesome. But yeah, that is exceptions and trying to catch them, try and catch over here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about generics and it's going to get absolutely crazy. Hope to see you there. So yeah.